Walters era. Ready to begin. And here we go. Purdue won the toss to first, so Fresno State starts. And from the five, this is Jalen Gill. And Gill is wrapped up across the 20. We have a penalty flag thrown back. Ron Snodgrass is our official today. Five yard penalty, first down. Part two. And now we're off. On the return, this opens up across the 40 yard line. And that is Eric Brooks returning that kick for 36 yards. So on third and short and win these little battles. See the numbers on Fresno State last year on third down. This is a third and two. Keen will throw, and that's caught and wrapped up shy of the line to gain. Markevious Brown with the tackle on Jalen Moss. Third down. This is a third and two. Keen will throw, and that's caught and wrapped up shy of the line to gain. Markevious Brown for Fresno State. So now third down and short. Sheffield in motion. Card time over the middle. Caught Deion Burks. He can fly. Burks keeps his feet. Burks has speed. He is gone. Touchdown, Purdue. 84 yards. Four from his head coach. He said he's an action figure. He's a freak. Popped off once. Twice the fastest guy on the team, no chance. 84 yards, and the Boilermakers strike first. Program history on for the extra point. Seven nothing, Purdue. Deion Burks, redshirt sophomore. They're looking at this defensive front to be more disruptive this year. Pressure coming on third down. That's high incomplete for Eric Brooks. As Purdue brought some pressure and Keen too high for here. So you want to be smart with the football. One thing to watch out for too, though, Corey, if, if the first second read isn't there, watch what Hudson does outside of the pocket. He is known to tuck the ball and run and hurt you with his feet. And throw it here into a tight window and it's incomplete. That was broken up by Johnson once again. Fresno State brings back a ton down with the pick. That's two opportunities. First, it was the Maccabee fumble that Musa recovered, and that one a dropped interception by Johnson. You got to be more careful with the football if you're Purdue. Jack Ansel with the punt. No return from Brooks and Fresno State as that one is down by Dylan Thiedemann, a 36 year wide receivers. And you've seen how that's affected this Fresno State offense. They really haven't been able to get any type of rhythm going to start this game. Time for Keen underneath. That's caught. Watson bounces off a man and will have a first down of the 44 yard line as Fresno State moves. Third and seven. It's Gordon on Kane's back, but he hits it. That's caught for a first down by Jake Boust. So Scorton was coming from behind, but Keen something with you here. Cam Allen today is 45th game. Could not make the tackle. First down for Fresno State inside the Purdue 30. Keen looking has a man wide open. That is Brooks, and that is caught for a touchdown. Well designed, 29 yards out. Keen to Brooks, and the Bulldogs answer back. The extra point try. And we're even 7 7. Tyrone Tracy Jr., the tailback to Carr's left. Move from wide receiver to running back, and now here's the flip and the catch. And this is Max Clare. The redshirt freshman tight end who was just moving up the depth chart as Purdue is once again still without tight end Garrett Miller. That one goes for 16 of the first down. 
So here's Claire right here. And then notice all of, watch the offensive line. They're all going to start moving to the right, right? And that really messes with the Fresno State front seven. They're all running with the run action. And Max Claire gets the ball out of the flat wide open for a big game down the sideline. That was tipped incomplete. He's the starting center today. The challenge only increases when you consider both guards are newcomers as well. No throw that is caught and upended. Nice catch made by TJ Sheffield. Lake Lock under five. Keen hit and set back at the five yard line. Katrin Jenkins with the sack, his 10th career sack, and his fourth down a loss of eight. The edge rushers of this defense are someone to keep an eye on. There's Kadron Jenkins working on the right side of the offensive line. And right in Mikey Keene's face. Right on one. And Jose Vavo had no chance blocking him. Jenkins, a returning starter. Honorable mention, all Big Ten. Poor punt. And this is going to be returned by Sheffield. Sheffield keeping his feet. And brought down inside the 20-yard line. So a short punt. But he finished with just under 970 last year. On third down, pressure coming. That's caught. Abdul Rahman Yassin to the two yard line. First and goal, Boilermakers. They said, keep an eye on him. He's played some football and he's ready to put it on tape in a game. Muckabee up the middle to the goal line. And Muckabee is, for now, short. Second down, Purdue going fast. Card. And Pyle still moving. And he did not get there. Let's go back to the Maccabee run. This was not called a touchdown, Jake. Let's see. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh he's yeah, in. Corey. That's Offside. A... Offside. Defense. Number three lined up in the neutral zone. Half the distance to the goal. Second down. Purdue was going. Maccabees hit and dropped. Applies that last play is you never run into a loaded box to guys you can't block. You only had five offensive linemen to a heavy, heavy box. They didn't have the numbers to block those guys, and that's why it ended with the tackle for loss. That's pulled, and that's incomplete. And a flag intended for Burks. Three. Pass interference. Defense number three. Ball be placed at the two yard line. Automatic first down. So everything's tighter down here in the red zone. Everything happens quicker. There's Hamilton. And Purdue's the run this slant down. concept on third down multiple, multiple times. So Hamilton sees it, but you just can't be draped over the receiver, Deion Burks, like that. It's an easy call to Purdue. Carr trying to keep it again, but boy, that red wave wall up front for Fresno State is neat. This drive continuing because of two Fresno State penalties inside the five-yard line. On second and goal. Tracy, he's hit, and he is going to be short. Play along here on third and goal. Tracy cuts back. Tracy dives forward. Touchdown, Purdue. Three Hill. Point after try. Off a Nick Taylor snap. And so here's a good look at it, right? You see, there's Devo Bridges right on Tracy, and he got his legs caught up a little bit. Otherwise, he might have had a, a better shot at it. But it's a good job nonetheless by Tracy and a couple different operational issues with the handoffs and the snaps down here in the red zone. They're in group for Fresno State is their offensive line. Not maybe the best group, but they played a lot of ball together. That was a good job opening it up. And that's a great throw. Here comes Brooks. He's got great speed. He's shouldered out across the 15-yard line. So Brooks had the touchdown catch in the first, and now a big reception here early in the second as he slants. I think the short game and the quick game effectively acts as a complement to your running game. This is their third, third and two. They have yet to convert on third and two today. They will this time as Elijah Gilliam powers up the middle to the eight. 
It's first and goal, Fresno. And notice the notice the leverage of the defensive backs there in the corner of your screens. They're inside trying to take away that slant route that's been so successful. They get to Gilliam. King will keep it wide open in the corner of the end zone. That is caught by Jalen Moss. And a Fresno State touchdown. Took a red shirt. This was well designed, an eight yard touchdown play. There's Dylan Thienem in the freshman, and this is a great scheme by Fresno State to put him in a bind. It looks like it's a read option, so Keens actually tucked the ball as if he was going to run into the end zone, forcing Thienem to come up to get an easier touchdown than that. Extra point is up and good for Lynch. The left guard not called, and the touchdown counts. So now card from the 41. They'll let this one fly near the 30 and it's incomplete and a flag. Was looking for Burks. Coverage from Maurice Norris Jr. No other bodies outside of him. 16 combined rushing yards. Both teams today. That's a first down catch and more. Near the 26 yard line by Ramon. Four-yard run was the longest rush by a Boilermaker today. Downing, right side, first down. Downing across the 15. On second down, car time, end zone, caught, touchdown. It's Burks once again. Free Hill extra point is good. And back and forth we go. Boilermakers regain the lead. He's next in line. They call him the freak. How about this one? Part of the air raid system is throwing to the green, green grass. Here's all the green grass right here, Deion Burks. Hudson Card said, as long as you get there, I'm going to put it on you. And Deion Burks with his second touchdown of the day. And you have to go into this play expecting Mikey Keene to use his arm and air this thing out to try to move the chains. Keen in trouble, throws, that's caught by Brooks. He got free and credit Keen for hanging in there. He knew the pressure was coming and Brooks got free, picked up eight first down Fresno State. And that's a Lined up pistol behind Keen, low snap. It is Gilliam, it'll have the first down. Had to get to the 50 and now into Purdue. Keen in trouble. A flag down back at the 45-yard line. Jacob Spolmer, tackle. Holding. Offense. So coming there on the left Number side 69. of your screen. Ten-yard penalty, third down. That's Cadron Jenkins, who has probably been the star of this defensive front multiple times already here in the first half. He's been. Did not decline it. So they'll take the yardage. Would have been fourth down. They're probably thinking Fresno was going to go for it. So on third and 15, Keene sets up the screen. Here's Gilliam. And Gilliam is going to have the first down across the 40 yard line. On third and 10, Keene off his back foot throws. There's Brooks again, kept his feet. And Brooks is brought down near the 20 yard line. Uh, you mentioned that on this drive alone. As we're under two minutes now, so now the clock will stop on a first down here in the second quarter. Option Gilliam, stiff arm, Gilliam, 10, shoulders his way near the five. Them in scoring position. William earning more and more playing time on this drive. He's the tailback to Keene's left. Gilliam trying to see if anything would open up. That's going to be near the five yard line, but good enough for first downs. The Walters. Keen throws Sherrod to catch, and Sherrod is out of bounds near the three. Number three, Eric Brooks, has been the go-to guy on this drive. Keen looking that way, floats this one, incomplete. Ian Brooks off there. Dylan Lynch, a 
six field goals last year, and this one is no good. From 21 yards out, missed it. So a time can get, get a stop here, but look at this defense. They're going to bring the heat and go man coverage across the board. Devo Bridges and company brought the heat on first down. It's Maccabi, and he'll be brought down for a loss. So Fresno State now will likely take a timeout. So good at a shot at it. 220 yards of offense. Well, Fresno State, two timeouts remaining. Keen throws high, and that is going to be broken up incomplete. Was looking for Watson. There's a better angle. That, that's a, that's a completed catch. The first, first down at the 38-yard line. Comes in a quarterback, Fife and Keene had a competitive competition during camp, and Keene won the starting job. And that is a five-yard catch to Brooks, three seconds, career long, 51 yards for Dylan Lynch. Kick is on the way, and that is good. Officially a 52-yard field goal, and it's a four-point game at halftime. 21-17. It'll be Burks and the Boilermakers that will get the ball first to begin the second half. Sheffield. This is Tracy, beg your pardon. Tracy, he tight runs that sideline. Tyrone Tracy Jr. Five end zone touchdown Purdue. Down the sideline. That's a great start to the half by Tracy and Purdue. Extra point is good. We'll keep it here. So Purdue wasting little time. It's our play of the game brought to you by Fubo. It wasn't a perfectly blocked play either, Corey. He had to make one guy miss, then he had to make the kicker miss. That might have been a little bit easier. And a great job, too, tiptoeing the sidelines and staying in bounds. The speed helped them separate and the adjustments and put a cornerback on the talented Eric Brooks. Third and eight, Keen throws and a diving attempt incomplete. Intended for Brooks, for uh, Brooks rather. And there will on Maccabee. I think Harrell's maybe telling you something with three transfers on the interior of, of your offensive line. That's probably not the strength of this offense right now. Maccabee, there's a strong run. First down, back to back. Positive carries for Maccabee. And there is Graham Harrell. Harrell, and he took it really sight on scene. Card, here we go. Big hole up the middle. Spins his way across the 35. First down run for Hudson Card. Card throws, and that's caught short of the line to gain by Sheffield. You say if you put this one through the uprights, it's a two touchdown game. 43 yard try. New snapper, new holder. And that one is no good. Wide right. In Hawaii, in Ann Arbor, my senior year. And Harbaugh had the biggest smile on his face when he told us we were kicking off at noon, which was, you know, still in the middle of the night back there in local time. Rivers, the freshman, bounces off once, twice. And Rivers, a first down run out near the 44-yard line. Brother played here, his dad played here. Coach Tedford said he doesn't act like a freshman. And that's caught by Moss. As again, Fresno State moving fast, picks up 11 to stop here now a couple first downs Fresno State in plus territory from the Boilermaker 43 yard line Gilliam and he is spun down pretty much no gain on the play before passing to begin this half on third down and 10 pressure coming Keen throws and Brooks got three first down inside the 20 yard line Arkevi is brought. He lost pursuit. Floating that way. Picked up some long third down conversions today. Keen looking. And so that is caught for a touchdown by Jalen Gill. 18 yard touchdown. 
And the Bulldogs make this a one score game. One for two here. Man, so that's Jalen Gill. Running back background, they start him in the backfield and motion him out. So there he is matched up on OC Brothers, which is a linebacker. Jalen Gill plays running back and wide receiver. And then you ask a linebacker to cover, cover a double move. OC Brothers really had no chance on that one. Ian and company are going for two to make this a three-point game. King. All sorts of time and towards the back of the end zone. That is caught for a two-point conversion by Jalen Moss. And this is a three-point game with 6.44 to go in the third. Third and short. Fresno State in an aggressive defense. Purdue going fast, trying Maccabi and Maccabi. I don't think so. Bailey with the hit on third and short. This one, Corey, this tells you about the DNA of Ryan Walters back up in his own end zone. Going for it. His own territory, going for it on fourth and inches. Jalen Grant now in its center. It's Tracy. And they convert. So a gain of two. Big call there for Ryan Walters. Big call and you got it, but they've been able to sustain drives. Here's Hudson Card's chance. Card hits he throws. That's incomplete. Looking for Yasin. And the Bulldogs, they only rushed three, but they got home. And Card took a hit as he let that one go on his fourth down. Got it out and got him into a nice third manageable here. Bulldogs have done well on third down today. Third and five. Keen caught fingertip catch made by Brooks. First down, Fresno State across the 40. Option. Under toss, Gilliam makes a man miss. And will get low and pick up the first down to the 32 after a gain of five. Great job recovering by Marquevious Brown to get in there and make that a tough catch and, and break it up. Antonio Stevens just came in for the injured Sanusi Kane had a chance to tackle Elijah Gilliam at the line of scrimmage. He could not do it. Instead, it's a pickup of 11 and a Fresno State first down. a first down inside the five. First and goal as we start the fourth inside the five. Gilliam up the middle to the one. From the one. Gilliam is hit. Dives forward and he is short. It's third down. <laughs> Keen the to toss. Sherrod kept his foot in, cutting back, and he's in. Touchdown, Fresno State. Malik Sherrod in the end zone for the first time at two rushing scores last year. The lead. And you've got to give credit to Jeff Tedford and offensive coordinator Pat McCann. So much creative play calling on that drive to get them down in this position. And there, everyone in the stadium is expecting a quarterback sneak. But Mikey is able to pitch it to Sherrod, who kept his feet, thankfully, and was able to get in for the end zone. Extra point is good. Excited about him, but that's only his second catch on the day. Miller just not ready yet. Missed all of last season with a knee injury. Unable to play today. Mockaby, there's some crazy leg running there across the 40-yard line. Do this. 11-yard rush for Mockaby. First down, Purdue. Time for Carr all day. Let's it fly. That's caught. Yassin. First down near the 45 of Fresno State. And Kane getting ready to get this defense to go back out for you guys. Brooke, thank you. Dylan Dowding. With the carry, and he did not get there. It was third and short, and Dean Clark, the safety, made the stop. There's Austin Johnson back in on fourth down and one, down four. You got 5 0 linemen, six Fresno State defenders in the box. How do you build numbers? You get into a read option. Let Hudson Card make a read. Card 
Throws, caught, Burks, first down. To the 30. Took some time. On fourth and short, card found Burks again of seven. Sounds, but it can't stop there. He needs a third touchdown for this offense to seize the lead back again. Devin Maccabee inside the 20. Maccabee spinning down near the 10. That's by a freshman. Last year in that 20-yard run, the longest rush by any player, any team today. First and goal. Maccabee again this time. He's wrapped up just across the line of scrimmage again of two. Gabriel Lightfoot made the stop. It's really, really, really impressive, and, and the growth is exponential at that age. This is the 11th play of this drive. Card looking at the flat. It's caught. Spinning down inside the three is Maccabee to the two. State has you outnumbered. You have to attack somewhere else of this defense. Card throws. This one is incomplete. Intended for Elijah Canyon. Oh. Offensive line really moving around here. On fourth and goal. Maccabee the tailback. Maccabee up the middle, and Maccabee did not get there. And Purdue tried the middle once again. Not happening, and the Bulldogs take over on downs. So Maccabee tried the middle, and again, did not happen. Gilliam cuts right. And finds a whole lot of space. First down across the 20. Brooks in the slot on the hash down to the bottom of your screen. Keane floats it, looking for Delano, dangerously thrown, and that is picked off by Thieneman. As if defender was out of bounds. Fourth down. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Look at the right cleat, though, as Thieneman's coming down. The previous play is under further review. Freshman Dylan Thieneman coming down with a big-time turnover. Two timeouts left down four. Carr taking a shot downfield, and that is caught in stride by Burks. Burks has shown up constantly throughout the day. You see that he's behind the safety, he's behind the corner. They started with the play action. The safety, number 27 there, Cameron Bracco, he bit on the run initially, and then Burks is just too fast for you to ever make. Can't get a first down at the one. It's Maccabee, cuts, scores! Touchdown, Purdue! Make it a three-point game. Three hill. Does. So Thieneman, after that interception, the celebration then, now on scholarship, the sophomore Maccabee. And on the bunch, right here. He's been the go-to guy throughout the broadcast. There's Cam Allen matched up with him once again. Cam Allen, your veteran. A play that matters so much in this game. Look at the other way, and that's caught by Jalen Gill. A confident throw by Keene hitting Gill for a six-yard gain. First that came up continually was poise. Here on the road to open the season, I think poise has been the fitting theme for Mikey Keene's success. Under two to play, the clock will stop on a first down as it will here. It's Gill once again. King again, it's Gill. Those slants are open there, and Keen is finding his targets. Big Ten team in 2010. Key taking a shot, it's Brooks, it's in the end zone! Touchdown Fresno State as number three strikes again. Eric Brooks working on the inside fade, right, starts on the hash and then we call it a big box fade because there's that big box of grass on the outside. Thieneman was the one high safety in the middle of the field. 
He cannot help Markevious Brown on this type of route. When you have a one high safety, Brown. The sophomore Lynch. Four point game. Short of the line to gain. You got seats of cards right on fourth and short. It's tipped in. It's incomplete. Lavelle Bailey, the captain, got his hand up, deflecting that pass away. And the Bulldogs, a Big Ten team. That win streak continues, Corey, for Fresno State. Ten in a row for Jeff Tedford. What an effort for Fresno State. A happy flight back to the Valley. And the Bulldogs take down Purdue. And the Boilermakers home opener, 39-35.